During the assaults in the Pokrovsk direction, Russian troops are suffering enormous losses, according to the telegram channel of the partisan movement Atesh. An agent from Atesh in the 15th Motorized Rifle Brigade of the Russian Federation reported that the Russians have committed large forces to the assaults. The occupiers' desire to quickly capture Pokrovsk is turning into a major problem for them. The 15th Brigade is suffering significant losses. Personnel and equipment are being used on a large scale, but when the equipment fails, the soldiers lose coordination, leading to chaos and increased casualties. Meanwhile, mothers and wives of servicemen are writing letters to Russian President Vladimir Putin asking him to address the situation, but they are only advised to contact other authorities. But Pokrovsk's residents have a week or two to evacuate as Russian forces are closing in on the Donetsk Oblast city. The administration head, Serhi Dobryak, told Radio Free Europe, Pokrovsk is an important logistical hub for the Ukrainian forces that supports their operations in Donetsk Oblast. Around 53,000 people remain in the city. We had 13,700 children before the full-scale war in Pokrovsk. Now there are still 4,788 children in the community. That is, a third of them remain, Dobryak said. I think we will reach the point this week that we make the evacuation of children mandatory, he added. The obligatory evacuation of children and their families from the Pokrovsk community was announced later the same day by Governor Vadim Filashkin. An average of 500 to 600 people leave the city every day, and 60% of the residents leave using their own means of transport, according to Dobryak. As Russian forces concentrate more of their resources on the offensive in Donetsk Oblast, the situation in the area in the Pokrovsk direction remains extremely challenging, Kiev acknowledged. Russian forces have been slowly but consistently gaining ground in Donetsk Oblast, and the frontline areas of Pokrovsk and Toretsk have borne the brunt of attacks in recent weeks. Monsoon rains across the region from June to September offer respite from the summer heat and are crucial to replenishing water supplies and sustaining agriculture, but also lead to weather-related disasters. Experts say climate change is increasing their frequency and severity. Data from the National Disaster Management Authority shows that death toll from rain-related incidents rose to 215 since July 1. A total of 43 people were reported to have suffered injuries in the last 24 hours, while the number of injured in the monsoon season starting from July went up to 405, National Disaster Management Authority said. All through the season, the dead included 108 children and 32 women, according to the report. The eastern Punjab province was the worst affected area with 86 deaths, followed by the northwestern Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and the southern Sindh provinces with 65 and 37 deaths, respectively. It added that 18 people were killed in the southwestern Balochistan province, five were killed in Pakistan-controlled Kashmir and four died in the northern Gilgit-Baltistan region. The National Disaster Management Authority also said that 448 livestock animals have perished, while 2,575 houses and 31 bridges were damaged during the cited period. A total of 86 camps for medical service and relief have been set up by the government, where 4,102 persons have got treatment or relief, it said. Senate Chairman Syed Youssef Raza Jalani expressed deep sorrow over the loss of lives and property caused by heavy rains and floods in various parts of the country, particularly in Balochistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. In a message, he extended his heartfelt condolences to the families of the victims, stating that he shared their grief during this difficult time. Pakistan's annual monsoon season runs from July through September. Scientists and weather forecasters have blamed climate change for heavier rains in recent years. In 2022, climate-induced downpours inundated one-third of the country, killing 1,739 people and causing $30 billion in damage.
el rabo, lo tira el rabo, lo rabo. Una dorada, ¿qué es?